Hello and welcome to this video. So today I will present you how you can modify STL files. So for example, I selected this Baby Yoda STL file from Thingiverse. So I have already downloaded the, the file. So let's see, how do we process this? I will use the Baby Yoda uh, full body. Okay, so first I need to insert the file as an STL within Katia. So I will go to Start, Shape, and I will go to Digitize Shape Editor. This is the workbench that allows you to insert STL files as meshes within Katia. So I will go to Import, I will select my file, I will browse that copy address, and I want to maintain the scale factor of this model. Okay, so now we see, I see that this element is the head of the baby Yoda. So I will, I will use this as the test object. So first I will check the STL files. I see that there are no manifolds or corrupted triangles. Also the structure doesn't require to be converted. So we can directly go and define the mesh. So we'll go to shape quick surface reconstruction I will select the surface and I will want to mesh this let's say tangency 95% mean surface deviation 0 0.1 surface detail I will put a higher value like 50,000 and I will click OK now we have to wait maybe even one minute for the mesh to be processed into a CATIA surface then we have the ability to convert that surface to a sol solid uh, body and then we can cut it normally in part design okay so i will wait a bit for the video to process okay so now we have that mesh i will hide my in initial mesh i see that this is the surface base model that was was obtained I will go to start shape and then I will make the transition not to shape to mechanical design and I will go to part design and within part design I have the ability to close this surface so you need to look for this it's called closed surface you can find it up at insert surface base features and close surface I will select the automated surface and now if I hide it the surface I have the, the model okay so now let's say maybe I want to edit this I can define a new sketch on the bottom of this baby or the head I will unsnap this and I can define let's say a radius of 50 and then I can either extrude or extrude cut. Okay, if the mesh wasn't normal too, I can go a bit, let's say, maybe merely extend. As you can see, there was a little gap that required to be filled. The plane wasn't normal to, to the mesh. Okay, and now I, I can edit this. I can add fillets, cuts and other, other elements. Okay, so this is the model, the, uh, let's say not the model, the workflow that you can use to obtain solid bodies from uh, STL files. Okay, if this video helped you, please subscribe and leave me a comment. Okay, thanks.